Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the worst speculation in 2017. It was Magic Origins. Uh, people were saying Magic Origins was the last core set. They were saying, well, I mean, that, that was true because that's what Wizard of the Coast said. I mean, when I talk about people, that was Wizard of the Coast. So Magic was, uh, Origins is a unique set. It has Jace Finch Prodigy. It had all the other flip planeswalkers that it was uh, very hyped for Frontier where Jace Finch Prodigy is probably the best card in that format. One of the best cards. So they even made like a fake format to promote Jason <laughs> Magic Origin pretty much. Uh, it was so hot. But now David Adams, you can get a fat pack of Magic Origins for under $15. You can get a booster box on eBay for under $70. And if you buy from a bankrupt store, bankrupt stores have tons of Magic Origins apparently. Or stores, okay, I'm not going to say bankrupt stores. They like to classify themselves as stores that are doing extremely well, but because of the toxic environment, no longer want to carry magic. There's probably other reasons you don't want to carry magic, but okay. So that reason by saying that, oh, I don't want to carry magic because it's extremely toxic by making so much money from it. And I'm giving you the opportunity to buy this magic origin box at $70 a box. It's a little dishonest because who's buying magic origins now at all? Who's buying fat? I mean, fat pack for $20 a box, that's Dragon Maze, Maze low. That's Dragon Maze, and at, at this time of recording, there's not a Black Friday sale. I mean, it could go down to $10 a fat pack. With coupons, for me, it's $10 a fat pack if I wanted to buy them. And, but the problem is, like, I don't even want that. I already have all of them at, like, 20 like, and then they hit the 10 I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, I got hosed on uh, Magic Origin fat packs because I thought fat packs would at least keep value. So RTR fat packs is a $55 fat pack. Con fat pack, I think, is, like, a $60 fat pack. Yeah, the booster boxes have not done well, but the fat packs generally do extremely well for the casual players. I just don't know what happened to Magic Origins. Like the fact, fact that Magic Origins fat pack is under $20 on a, and you can buy as many of these as you want, it's not even a sale. And with coupons, you can get it under 15 quite easily. With uh, free shipping, worst speculation ever. Like, I can't emphasize how bad of a speculation it would have been for you to buy Magic Origin Fat Packs at 35 when, you know, people were saying buy it, or buy boxes at, you know, 100 or 80 or not, whatever you were buying a Magic Origins box at. Mmm. That, you got hosed to oblivion. Like, it's just so ugly, I can't even, like... And that's the market. So people want to say, oh, the market's healthy, the market's healthy. Like, no, this is a game play. Like, I love Dragon Maze fat packs because you have all five, ten generals, right? You have all ten guilds in Dragon Maze. You have possibility to get shock lands. You have one of my favorite cards of all time and a card that I'm very famous for speculating on, Voice of Resurgence. So yes, I love Dragon Maze. I love to buy $20 fat packs of Dragon Maze whenever I get the chance. Like, I like buying boxes of Dragon Maze for under 60 but I don't advise you to do it as an investment. I don't th say, oh, everyone, let's hold Dragon Maze and hope it goes up in price. No, there's nothing, in I know there's no value in Dragon Maze. I know it's gonna be $20 a fat pack forever. For like ever. But I like it, and I play with my friends, and it's a really cheap night. So like, imagine buying a, a seal, buying Hour of Devastation. You wanna do a seal pre-release at Hour of Devastation. A pre-release is $30 where I live. We're not going to have as much fun. There's no beer at the pre-release. There's no like junk food. There's why don't you just have a Dragon Maze pre-release? Everyone buys this fat pack for twenty bucks, which actually isn't twenty bucks, like more like fifteen after discount, and you get free stuff and shipping. Uh, and everyone just opens Dragon Maze, which is an amazing fun thing because there's ten guilds. There's ten guilds. It's, it's a blast. Um, and a lot of my friends, uh, when we went to, uh, when I went to NYU, the Dissension was my freshman year, RTR was a little bit before my freshman year. Uh, maybe it was my freshman year, but in September, which I didn't go to. But that's like my college buddies. Like we grew up with, uh, with uh, not RTR, Ravnica. We grew up with Ravnica, so it's kind of interesting. A lot of them haven't played for a long time, so they're like, oh, these guilds are back? Awesome, I love this guild. I mean, one of my friends, uh, he played just last weekend, and he was like, oh, Simic is the deal? Like, and he was so happy, like, he was like, wow. And the cards are not good, they're not valuable, but we have fun. So if you view Magic as a hobby, you'll be okay. But if you view it as a speculation, man, you got hosed of Magic Origins. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it was pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.